Welcome back everybody. Just a lazy Sunday afternoon, just doing an oil change. Old Faithful now has 177 on the clock. And with these vehicles, Toyota says you can do the oil change every 5,000 miles, but because it's 20 years old and because of all the miles, I like to do it every three. Everything else seems to look good. Just gotta top off my coolant and then maybe clean off my battery terminals, but that'll be another project for another day. Got a little bit of uh, the green stuff and the battery terminal protectant seems to have dried out, but no big deal. This is the 2.4. Overall, it's been pretty good. Had to replace a couple of oxygen sensors, had to replace the valve cover gasket, but otherwise that's about it. Just crazy to think, come October, I'll have had it seven years. Once the snow really starts melting, maybe I'll drive it back to Reno. Hot August Nights is coming up, as well as my birthday, so... And since I know it'll make it, why not? It's been driving me to work. It's been a while since I've gotten it on the open road. But now we gotta run to the store and get rid of this old oil. All right, so question for you guys. Who remembers the show from about 20 years ago called American Hot Rod? Basically, it was a shop out of Southern California and Boyd Coddington and all of them would build hot rods. Well, for those of you not familiar, Boyd Coddington was known for kind of being a hostile, kind of being a hostile, uh, creating a hostile work environment. That'd be the better way to put it firing people on a dime, jumping down people's throat, and all of that. Well, there was one, hear me out, there was one where I gotta kinda say he was in the right. So, Blue Bear and Boyd have a disagreement as far as, you know, hot rods, how they should be built, what all they should have, and all that. So, Boyd makes him a deal you build your car the way you like and I'll pay for it and you can even work on the clock. I'll build a car the way I like and then once we're done, we'll take a road trip to Kentucky, we'll enter a contest and we will see once and for all who has the better car basically. Well, it starts off okay, but they start to have disagreements. Blue Bear feels since it's his car, he should be able to build it any way he likes, and Boyd's kind of stepping in saying, okay, well, I got safety concerns here, here, and here. It started off with a box frame. Uh, Blue Bear didn't want to box his frame. Boyd wanted him to box his frame, and it just kind of escalated from there until they eventually clashed and Blue Bear got fired. So, I mean, the episodes, the episodes on YouTube right now, I mean, they're, they're starting to have full episodes on YouTube, and you can go check it out if you want. But it's like, you know, you have a car. Your boss comes to you and says, you can build it. You can build it on the clock. I'll pay for your parts. And once we're done, we'll take a trip to Kentucky, and we'll enter into a contest. How many bosses are going to do that? You know? I mean, not standing up for Boyd too much, but, you know, how many bosses are going to do that? No boss I ever worked for would do that, so. But, I mean, if you want to check it out, you know, go check it out. And, I mean, if you even disagree with me, that's fine, too, you know? But... That's just how I see it. I'm gonna run in, get this oil. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So, yeah, though, that's just, uh, that's just how I see it, you know? And Blue Bear's main thing was, you know, he didn't want to stray too far from the time of the car, which, you know, I understand. But at the same time, 
when someone says, rebuild your car on my dime, and then after that, we'll take a road trip across the country practically, and I'll pay you for the whole thing. I mean, gotta listen to that guy somewhat. And I mean, honestly, you know, a boxed frame, I mean, it helps make the car more sturdy and all that. I mean, just box your frame, man. But then, you know, like I said, he's kind of known for, he's kind of known for being a jerk too. So there are various clips on YouTube of his guys either quitting or getting fired and When they announce their when they announce they're quitting, he gets mad, starts cussing him out, and then they got to deal with Dwayne, and so. But I mean, just my thoughts. Sorry, when I took off, the camera fell or the tripod fell. But then they also got all the American Chopper stuff on YouTube as well. Like the day, uh, the day Paul Jr. went to work and he got fired. But the one little difference between American Chopper and American Hot Rod is, you know, American Chopper, you know, not saying, not saying it's right per se, but at least, at least when, uh, Paul Jr. and Paul Sr. collided, you know, it was father and son stuff, practically. I mean, yeah, you know, father and son stuff. When uh, Boyd and his guys, you know, had their disagreements, it was actually boss versus employee. So, it's like, yeah, you know, you're, you're in your office cussing these guys out. You got Dwayne working the floor cussing everybody out. I mean, yeah, that's not good either. Sorry, I don't really have a better video for you guys today. But I still thank you for taking a ride with me and listening to me talk about the Highlander a little bit. I'm going to go in, shower, and get ready for evening service at church. So I'll see you guys next week.